Uh, what up, YouTube? Yeah, Boy Lopez here. Gonna do a short video for you guys on uh, do a review of my Warrior uh, AK-27s. And uh, I guess uh, Warrior, uh, Warrior Blade over there, the Dynasty on my stick. So here they are, a pair of them. So put one on here. So there it is with it on. A uh, really nice looking glove before they got put in the dryer because my mom. But yeah, they were they were really nice looking and they still look pretty good. The only thing is that this little thing my mom put these in the dryer when she first got them and she didn't know that you can dry these gloves and uh, material. Or that would happen, but she didn't know so it was whatever. So these gloves are uh, really comfy. They're not like so like other gloves are just like stuck to you. You can move your hands around. Your wrist mobility is like perfectly fine because I love a lot of wrist mobility because uh, lacrosse players I love a lot of mo mo mobility in my arms and my in my leg. Damn guys, I'm all screwed up today. So in my wrist, I love a lot of mobility. So nothing wrong with these gloves. They got a lot of protection. I'm a ton of padding. Like I could probably take a puck as I usually do or take a ton of damn hits, and I didn't feel nothing. So that's great. Uh, it's like a ton of checks here too, like people trying to poke check you and they just hit their stick or something, so. Uh, yeah, took a beating, two years, took a ton of beatings and it's showing up pretty well. Never got no fingers injuries prior to hockey, so it's pretty fine. Well, got injury from my finger, but got a little dislocated in my uh, pinky, that was pretty fun. But yeah, so, this finger needs a lot of protection because it looks so stupid. Compared to another pinky, they look retarded. My normal finger, they're my dislocated finger. Looks pretty weird, so. Got protection there. Totally fine. Took puck. I just took a puck to the to this pinky, and I didn't feel nothing, so that's awesome. So yeah, great gloves. Only thing is this. Uh, when I first started playing, I didn't put tape on the top of my stick, and it was a box end, so keep your stick on top and just like put a corner on this constantly, and it'll screw up. So I knew that was just gonna happen. So. Nothing, no biggie at all. Hasn't torn through this material yet, so that's fine. So once towards this material, which is hopefully not this season, I'll be fine. And not for buying new gloves. Um. So yeah, looking gloves got this uh, plastic uh, thing here. This I guess this plastic or a really good material, like a, almost like a hard plastic here for your finger. So my finger got actually smashed into this, or like. I was going for a puck and my finger got caught on the board and it got smashed. But this thing is still fine. And that's probably how that little thing there got there. So kind of got jammed against the wall. That finger hurt like a freaking bee for a while. But yeah. It's just, I don't know. The gloves are fine. It's just, I guess, my finger. Nobody ever expects your finger to actually get just like pushed up against the boards like what I did. So yeah. But I'm fine. The finger's fine, these gloves are good, and nothing's wrong with them. They are. And I'm gonna show you guys some stick now. Which is this uh, Nike Bauer Vapor Light. Um, so, yeah, this uh, got stick from my friend. He was leaving to Brazil and he gave me a stick. So, yeah, it's a Pro Flex here. Can't really see it because it's upside down. Now, you now you see it right, right here Pro Flex. So, yeah, it's a uh, really good, uh, really good. Um, has this thick em grip so your thing your hands are not gonna be totally ever on this stick. And this helps me a lot while I'm a face off guy, so when I'm taking face offs, your hand my hand's not gonna slide around, then I don't need the extra tape either. My hand just stays there when I'm while I'm dealing with the face off. So uh yeah, and then the grip comes a little bit off here as you get higher and higher, so that's good. Because I like my hand I actually like my hands real low when I'm taking a face off. Like some people take your hands up and face up here. I like my hands almost like almost to the blade almost because I get really low like almost like in a lacrosse face off. Even my face off man lacrosse I just did it a couple times and I got the habit now of taking a hockey face off like that so yeah uh so this stick was 420 grams and it was probably full then I got chopped like several times because I broke a blade on this and then my friend blow blade, uh, broke a blade on this so yeah this hasn't been a full stick in a while <laughs> so yeah this is thick as a well it's yeah it's pretty blade heavy really blade heavy but no no biggie not really uh the people that say oh this looks totally heavy i can't use this some people are like that i, I find it stupid honestly 
So yeah, the wall is a double concave wall, so it's not the box filling, it goes right into your hands. When you want to uh, deke, I'm about to say cradle, when you want to deke, it feels nice. Um, so yeah, here's the, now here's the War, uh, Warrior Dynasty Blade. Uh, looks really nice, actually, with tape off. I just got this tape because whenever open hockey is open, or whenever there's open hockey, I just got to be ready to go. And I'm like taping up a stick, and then I got to worry about tape. Because I, when I don't have tape, I would really not go play open hockey because I don't want to screw the blade up. So it looks pretty nice here. It says Dynasty. You guys can see it through tape. It's all Dynasty right through here. Yeah, I'll say Dynasty right somewhere about here. And, and I, guess I don't remember, but yeah. It's a really nice looking blade. I got it in the Andy Kopitar curve. So, yeah, the blade. There's the curve right there. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the curve, honestly. If you want to toe drag your stuff go ahead honestly but I don't do a lot of toe drags I like a lot of tough pass I like just a lot of passing and then a ton of wrist shots so and then a ton of slap shots so like my Patrick Kane I took a I broke it while doing a slap shot and the slap shots are really good with it it was really accurate so uh, I'm definitely gonna get me a cane curve so that's the only reason I got this because they had no cane curves and I just said why not let me get one of these so um, yeah, the the blade too, it's not the greatest, to be honest, uh, got this on a day before a game, cause I broke my freaking 1-100 last practice of the season, and I didn't know we had games left, and my, the next day my coach told me, oh, so you actually have uh, a few JV games you can play in if you want to, if you got nothing to do playing, playing the JV games, so I wanted to play some more hockey, cause it was my last year playing JV, cause I'm a senior now, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it would just be like more and more and more fun as a senior on JV. <laughs> so yeah, uh <clears throat> So yeah, it shipped the first game ever. And that was really disappointing cuz honestly, I don't know about anybody when I first get something I don't expect it to be using it and then it ships the first time or something happens to it the first time. So yeah, that's not cool. Uh, uh <coughs> <coughs> Wow, okay. I was weird. Uh, so I know the, the sticks are going to break right about here, but you guys can see that. It's a little thing right there, like, I can see the blade already breaking right here. There's like a little chip here. The, the camera is dutch, but it's going to break right there. I'll take a nice enough slap shot, this blade's going to go flying, so. Yeah, this thing chips really easily, I want to say, because one practice already chipped, and that was not... When I spent my bicycle, I really don't expect it to chip the first time being on the ice, the first time being used. I really found that disappointment. Um, got that taper. I don't know taper down here. It says down here taper. So yeah, so that's only that's disappointing about when I first got this stick. Uh, besides that, it looks really nice. Uh, this thing, I'm scared to use this now. Oh, and by the way, this stick when you first get like the blade here, it's almost like a total one look. It has the checkerboard. It looks pretty cool. And the yeah, checkerboard has a nice texture. You quite can't really see it here because the camera, but you, yeah, you still can't see it there. Well, you could see it when you get it. It has like a checkerboard feel. The checkerboard look looks pretty nice, but that chip, it's not a huge chip either. It's just a chip that I was not really happy about because it was my first time. It was the first time on the ice, and it's just chip you see right there. It chipped the first time that I got on the ice, and that was not... It's something I don't expect, and something I really don't find really cool when you first get something, so yeah. Uh, so, that was my review of the, I was looking at my whole stick, of, this, of my whole stick, and then the blade. Um, comments, questions, just comment on the box below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys, and please subscribe, and as I said, any comments or questions, just comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright, thanks, guys, and I'll see you.